and welcome to issue two of Geek Pop Podcast. With me, as always, is Josh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Josh, we have some more exciting stories this week. The most It'll exciting. Like, the most of the most exciting will be this week. Uh, we're recording this super early because of the 4th of July. So, since there's not much in the news that I found interesting, Josh, uh-huh. we're going to do a little more... Let's make fun of Toby stories. Ooh, okay. We got some questions from actual listeners at the end. That's exciting. That is very exciting. People are listening to this. That's what that and tells me. Exactly. At least, at least two people are listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> I also got a new mic, so hopefully I don't sound like a fucking robot half the time. But that's that's yet to be seen until I put it together at the end and fuck that up. You still sound like an asshole, but at least at least it's a clear asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Just call me Charmin, baby. <laughs> I, yes, because you're shit. I don't understand what that <laughs> reference means. Because <I laughs> Charmin's a toilet paper brand. Yep. Yes, it is, Toby. <laughs> You said a clean asshole. Oh, and I, oh, see, I okay. I'm sorry that I no sold that. It's it very funny. That's very funny, Toby. Carry on. That was good. Yeah, that was, was actually good. That was good. And then I, I forgot a segment that I said we were going to do every week last week. So we'll be doing that later, Josh. A little bit later in the show. So we've already messed something up, is what you're saying? Yeah, in, in two episodes. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Awesome. At about ten past the hour, we will be uh, celebrating some uh, life events, Josh. <laughs> Great. This sounds very like morning radio right now. 722, 22 after 7, 38 from the top of the hour. Let's give a check on the weather. I think we've made this joke on every podcast slash YouTube thing we've ever done together. Because it's my favorite. <laughs> Go- going morning zoo is maybe my favorite thing. <laughs> but uh, first off, Josh, last week we were discussing your social skills. <laughs> yes, we were. We were doing that. So I decided that when I have social interactions with people uh-huh. that may, might be out of place, yeah, I'm going to run them by you, and I want to see WWJD <laughs> in this situation. Oh, God. Okay. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So this weekend, I was buying a case of beer. Okay. That's something so I, I know. Go- yeah. Okay. Go on. At, at the beer distributor. Okay. It's right down the street from my house. Is that where I walk- you always buy? I don't understand what a beer distributor is, first of all. Is it someone who distributes beer? Yes, but it's like it's like a grocery store for beer. It's like a package store. That's what it's like a grocery store for beer. That's what we call them. Okay. Okay. All right. It's like a Seven Eleven for beer. You walk in, it's just all drinks. That's weird. All drinks, all cases of drinks okay. that are not soda. Are there aren't diet coke? Are there candy bars up front under at the cash register? There's usually candy bars. There's usually beef jerky. Smart. And there's cigarettes and lottery tickets. At least they, at least they know their audience. Exactly. Okay. All right. Buying beer. So I walked in, grabbed my case of beer. Yes. Walked up to the line. There was a guy that doesn't work there bullshitting with the guy that works there about, oh my god, I can't believe he's having his birthday party here. This seems ridiculous. Can't believe he's having his what? Birthday party here okay. in this area. Okay. In, in my home area. So it wasn't in the store. It was in the area. It was in the area. Okay. It was at like a big club that's around here. Gotcha. At that point already, would you have interjected or would you have waited for your transaction to be over? So the only thing keeping you from checking out Wait, would I have interjected just to join the conversation, or... Yeah. No. Yeah, he- like, heavens no. Okay, so on the opposite of that already, while I was waiting for him to swipe my credit card, I said, whose birthday? Okay, really? Yeah, because who the fuck cares? But you don't know these people. I don't, that's it, that, exactly, but this is how you meet people. But, but like, <laughs> he's going to give you a name, and you're not going to know who that person is. Well, well spoilers, Josh. It was a football player that's having his birthday around here. Oh, oh. So, so then I said, even not knowing, not really knowing about the football player, but what I was trying to teach you last week, I said, oh, well, he's probably around here because X always happens around here. The guy said, oh, no, that stopped, in the, that stopped a while ago. And I said, oh, really? When did that stop? Because I had no fucking clue, but I kept the conversation going. And then I was making fun of the one guy with the other guy while I was there before I left. So did you like bang this guy at the end? Like, what's what's your end game here? I don't get it. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I don't know if there's end game necessarily, but this is the this is what I'm trying to teach you. Well, let me explain. To absolutely... you, let me explain to you how I would have handled this uh, this interaction. Uh, okay, I, well, I we'll just wrap it up then. Okay. What I'm saying is, <laughs> you can just talk to anybody, and no one gives a fuck. You can play dumb about things. All the things I told you to do, I did this weekend. Well, I mean, that, I want to prove to you that I'm living the life I'm telling you to lead. <laughs> you are you are living by example for me. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, well, I, yeah, I would have just not, not spoken to that guy, and I would have stood there quietly and been kind of angry that they were talking instead of checking me out. 
and then I would have left. And but what do you want to know whose birthday party it was? No, I wouldn't have. Toby, here's the thing about me: I don't like people, and I don't like interacting <laughs> with them. They're they're kind of the worst. Basically, just all humans. Do you? Josh doesn't mean that anyone who likes listening to us talk. Well, listen, I like a select few people, and it's people that like me. Uh, so I, I like everyone listening to this, unless unless you only like Toby, and then fuck you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, like generally, and this probably comes from my like weird, uh, you know, kind of social awkwardness, which it's not as bad as I don't think we put on, but like I really do. It's it's it is stressful to interact with people. Like I'm okay with it, but it's not fun. I don't I don't go out of my way to be like, whose birthday party is this? <laughs> the other day, I think it was today. We're talking about like for as as similar as we are with these we have these huge differences. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think this is one of them. Like I love talking to anybody and like everybody. Yeah. Like I'll just strike up a conversation because it's entertaining to me, <laughs> and and I, I can do it. Like I can strike up a conversation with someone. Like I can be funny. Like on a whim. Like I I can I can be fun and jovial and you know charming when I have to be. But like it, it takes everything out of me. Like it is it is a work. <laughs> <It> is, <laughs> <laughs> I need to go rest afterwards. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> so speaking of charming, Josh. Uh huh. That's me. No, it's not. That's not what the story is about. Oh okay. So I went to visit my sister and my niece this weekend. Your sister's very charming. <laughs> Is that like you're hooking up with my sister joke? Yeah, it was. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Just want to make sure. But uh, so for the people that have followed me and Josh since Squared Circle Jerks, which is probably like a really small Venn diagram of a circle right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, I was going to say. Now we're now Toby's talking to like five people. <laughs> yeah. You might remember, right, remember my niece from when she was born. And one of the other podcast people said she was going to grow up to be a stripper. Oh, man. Yeah, that happened. That's a real thing that happened. <laughs> and you got mad. <laughs> I did. <laughs> it did help the fact that I didn't like the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but uh, so my sister and my niece went to the beach recently. So we were talking about it while my niece was asleep. My niece is too. I don't know if I made that clear, but she's still a little bit older. Yeah. Uh, apparently, my niece has started noticing lifeguards, where she'll stare at the boy lifeguards oh, and yeah. like wonder what they're doing. It's like look all dreamy and be like, "Boys!" And like she, I mean, she can kind of talk. She can put basic sentences together. Okay. But my sister was like, "I don't know what I'm gonna do with her." Like she's already like looking at guys and lifeguards up on the top and the podiums and stuff and not understanding. So I just start laughing and I was like, "Hmm, sounds like somebody else I know." Implying to my sister that she had she's, that she's picked up her fair share of guys in her time. Oh, wait! As so, a but, as a brother, but, like, are you allowed to do that? Are you allowed to to make you pick up too many guys jokes to your sister? Her and I are close enough where there's not. Her and I have the same rule that I have with girlfriends, where it's like I don't need details of you sleeping with other people, <laughs> but like the vague idea doesn't bother me. Oh, okay. I mean, like, obviously, she fucked my ex brother in law because she has a niece. Like, obviously, that came from somewhere. <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I guess you put that a really weird way, but yes, that's, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I mean, it's not weird like that. So, we were laughing, and she was like, yeah. And then a couple days later, her and, like, she took her, my sister took my niece to, um, like, a park, um, a concert in the park kind of thing. And I guess they gave her ice cream before they went. Yeah. And it's the first time my niece has had full blown sugar. So she was, like, running laps, and, like, my sister said she pulled all of her clothes out of her bag, <laughs> and then just, like, she laid out her new outfit and just took off all of her clothes and ran around instead of putting out her new outfit on that she took out. <laughs> so, again, I just laughed, and, like, all these things just make me, like, tell my sister, like, this is what you have coming to you, because my sister was a bad kid when she was growing up. <laughs> did, did your sister ever strip? I, that, that I don't want to know about. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one of those lines that's, like, uh, eh, we don't need to know. <laughs> See, yeah, this is a weird story for us to talk about because I don't know what the line is where where I'm gonna make. I can say whatever you want. I don't care. There's not a line. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, I I don't think so. But (laughs) (laughs) I guess that my 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 question to you, Uh or where I want to have this conversation, I don't know at what age I'm supposed to start getting mad about my niece like trying to pick up boys, but I feel like it's rapidly hitting that point. Like, I don't have a daughter, I have my niece. Yeah. So when my sister's like, oh, she's staring at boys, or like, for her last birthday, like, there was a two-year-old boy there, and they're dancing around together. Ooh. And I and I feel like, I guess it's just defensiveness, yep. but if, or like, jealousy of like, why the fuck is he talking to my niece? 
I yeah, I'm not even involved with your niece. Like I don't I don't even I've never even met her. But like when you say she was dancing around with a boy, like that would be my moment. Like oh no nope, no nope, <laughs> not good nope. Uh, it, it, it hit this weird mini trigger of like. I don't like this. I need to stop this right now. This cannot go on in the future. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watched a, a, a movie this weekend, and it was a terrible, terrible movie. Um, but uh, at one point, this this girl brings this guy home, and he sits down with the dad, and the dad is like, like not happy that like she's brought a guy home, and he tells the guy, he's like, man, it's a bad day in a father's life when a girl brings the first boy home. He was like, you know, he's like, I thought I could handle it by just killing the first one, and that would just... <laughs> That would just warn everyone else. <laughs> so that's what you do. The next time she dances around with like a two year old boy, you just you you just drop kick him and be like, <laughs> let punch him in the face to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> make sure make sure the other two year old boys are like gathered around when you just waste this. First so I'll say, yeah, I gotta make sure that this the uh, the the vibe is put out there. Exactly, you, they need to know that they're gonna get like kicked in the gut if they <laughs> if they even look her direction. <laughs> I'm sure the, the I'm sure the mothers and fathers of all these other two year olds that I'm with will surely love me even more after I punched their kid in the face for talking to my niece. Bobby had it coming. <laughs> As he just cries, I, you know the thing though. Thing though is, like, who would ever believe that you that you kicked their child? Like, he, you you could easily say the kid was lying, and and you could probably get away with it. This has to be one of those stealth moves. Yeah, don't kick hard enough to bruise, like, first of all. Like, that's your first lesson. Just enough to, like, give him, like, a little, like, warning tap. Let him know there's more where that came from if he if he needs it. But don't, like, don't bruise him. And then and then you can you can deny, deny, deny. I'm going to throw this out there, that, that the following abuse conversation is all a joke. <laughs> it is. <laughs> neither, neither Josh and I are proponents of, of beating the shit out of children for no yeah, reason. Don't kick random children. Definitely don't do that. <laughs> but on, on an aside from that... There was a point where we had a new hire at work where I told Josh I didn't think I liked him immediately. And Josh gave me almost the same exact advice of just kick him <laughs> in his dick immediately, grab him in the face, and say, no, will ever believe I did this to you. <laughs> that is true. That's my advice for a lot of things. Just, like, as he's, like, sliding down you, just, like, just grab his dick and, like, grab his face and be like, no one will ever believe this. And then and then he, he you can get him to do anything from that moment on. <laughs> Like, seriously. You'll be my bitch forever. Exactly. He's like your servant at that point. You're like, hey, why don't you go get me my lunch? He was like, no, I'm not going to. And then you just, like, you make a motion in his direction, and then it's done. <laughs> he goes. That then needs to be some sort of, like, it's like, I need to, like, play a song first before I do it. Because I can just press play on the song again. Oh. So, like, like Pavlov's Pavlov dog, like, response. when I hear this song, yeah. and I get kicked in the dick again. Oh, shit. <laughs> I better go get him lunch. Isn't that, like, a prison thing? Like, you're supposed to, like, the first day in prison, like take down or like beat up or like start a fight with like the biggest guy there so everyone thinks you're crazy and won't mess with you that's like yeah that, it seems like a bad idea it's a thing i l- listen i would never do it if i was in prison uh but some people might S- some people that are more alpha than me might <laughs> yeah i've been I don't, I don't know if it, which way if it pans out or not properly but it probably would I, I mean like if i was in prison me. like i don't know what you would do but if i was in prison i would probably try to like make something that I, I could then sell. Like that would be like my in. Like I would make some hooch or something. <laughs> I would make... I'd super glue my asshole shut. You would, but then yeah. you have to poop out that. Eh. But that seems bad. Nah, it's better than things going back in. So I think I think getting molested in prison would be better than super gluing your butthole shut where you couldn't poop. Like that says a lot about you. No, it doesn't. It says that I yeah, want things. bullshit. It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I mean, do you want like a few minutes of discomfort, or do you want like a lifetime of discomfort? Do you think that after they fuck you the first time, they're not gonna fuck you every day afterwards? Okay, like a few minutes every day. <laughs> I listen. There's been times where it's been hard for me to push things out that way. I don't want things to get pushed back in. Josh, once I had to get a finger up there for a, a medical procedure, uh-huh. uncomfortable. Look, and that was with, that was just lube and everything, and a pro- trained professional. You're already that wasn't like there. some big guy grabbing me and fucking me in the ass. And really, like, how far did that finger have to go up? Like, probably not far. I don't know a finger's length. How big is that? I mean, that's it's definitely not as big as that prison guy's dick. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> so it's even worse. I didn't like that as that was. I can only imagine getting it worse. I'm just saying you can get used to anything in life, but you can't. You can't poop out of a glued shut butt. That's, eh, that's a life Josh, lesson. I, <laughs> that's the takeaway for the week. <laughs> <laughs> that should be like on a greeting card or something. <laughs> Josh, speaking of being a fake woman. Sure. Yep. 
Yep. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to do the segs real nice that tonight. That was a seg of the trying segs all, right there. Was, trying to get them all keep keep flowing. That's good. That was a that was a good shot. I I give it a six point five. Yes, Josh. The new thing that I tried the other night when we were playing video games together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told people I was a girl. You did. And it's amazing the way people a want to talk to you immediately afterwards, and b the way they talk to you afterwards. Well, you you instantly got. Uh, uh, sexual comments directed your way. Yeah. I mean, like, my... We were playing, like, Dota, like we always do. So I'm sure people start hearing about that. But my name is just, like, GHG Toby, and Josh's is just <laughs> G.I. Josh. Yeah, your name literally is Toby, and people still <laughs> believe that you were a girl. My, like, profile icon is the cartoon picture of me I use on Twitter. As so it's not even, like, if you... <laughs> right. So if you look at my profile picture, is a dude with a beard and glasses. But I was like, someone said something, and I was like, no, I'm a girl. And immediately the guy was like, "Yo, yo, me, me, me want to give you dick." Yeah. So I was, so then I was like, "Josh," we started laughing hysterically, and we escalated as we need to do. Yeah, naturally. So I was like, "Oh, grammar turns me on. You're not doing a good job right now," or something <laughs> along those lines. And then he said something about me on his dick again. He said something about him licking me. He did. He mentioned some some body parts that he thought that you possessed that you don't. Yeah. Uh, I feel like that's the same principle though as like a glory hole, like. It's just a guy really, really wanting it to be a girl. Like, all signs point to that it's not, but he he wants it so badly that he's willing to overlook every sign to the contrary. It is it is the glory hole principle. <laughs> I guess so, but, like, I guess the more fucked up part of this is, like, I know there's always, <clears throat> I guess this is the, uh, the woman's lib part of this podcast, <laughs> but it must really, I mean, like, I've seen dumb videos and shit of, like, how people talk to girls online. It must really suck, because, like, he at least kind of stopped, but sent me a friend request immediately after the game. Yeah. <laughs> but I can't imagine, like, the constant grilling of, like, yo, suck my dick. Yo, I'm going to fuck you. Yo, let me see your tits. Yo, let me do this. That must be rough. Well, to be fair, I mean, that happens to us in the game, too, when they think we're dudes. So, like, like the, it, was, it was a little bit nicer, if anything, when they found out you were a girl. <laughs> they just call us bad words more, guys, and say, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Other thing. Uh, listen, I evol- the whole thing, like, yeah, that's fucked up. If, you, if you're a girl online, that must suck. That's true. But the really fucked up about this whole story, fucked up part about this whole story, is that right after you said you were a girl, I was going to, like, you know, improv, one-up you. I said I was your, your boyfriend, and you instantly, like, shot that down. <laughs> you didn't even want to me. I wanted to have a real test of what, ha- what was going to happen. If I would have went with your my boyfriend... <laughs> Which <laughs> Listen, it just seemed pretty mean of you to like instantly. <laughs> Josh, I know better. But no, because if I was if you're like that's my boyfriend, he might have not hit on me. He probably but I really wanted to see what was gonna happen. So that's why that's why I was like, you know he's my brother. Actually until you until you corrected it, there was like that one thing where he was like, Oh my bad. He did he, Yeah, see he, he fucking backpedaled. Back down. <laughs> he, he 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 did the respectable thing and was like, Oh, they're a couple playing together, kind of. And I was like it's my brother. And right away he goes back to, <laughs> let me see them titties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely internet white knighting, I guess. <laughs> yes. I think this is an experiment we have to keep doing, too. I think we need to keep this going. Like, anytime there's someone talking and, and bring up, and is in, in, in any way, like, a little bit misogynist, we need to say that you're a girl. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, because I, I really enjoyed it. It made it very interesting. <laughs> And we're back from the break. Josh, here's a bedroom question for you. That was also in the news. My bedroom is just over there. That is that the question? Where it's yeah. at? Someone, artist Claire Manganiello. I probably said her name wrong. That's only important to me right now. Claire Mangello? Manganiello. Okay. I guess her, she's a website. ClaireAndEmily.com. <laughs> she made a comforter that literally looks like a pepperoni and cheese pizza. The pillows look like crust, okay. and the sheets look like tomato sauce. That's that's cool. That's pretty neat. Would you ever have a food-related bed? Yeah, sure. Why wouldn't I, dude? Like, yes. Because you know, at some point, a girl's gonna come into that house and look at that bed. What? What? I mean, like, like my bed's pretty embarrassing anyway, probably. Or like my bedroom in general. I mean, like, I've got you know. So you feel like this is just? It would just be like the tip of the iceberg. It'd be like, oh, you have a pizza bed. Oh, but by, by, by the way, look at my fucking seventeen action figures next to it. Those are cooler, right? Yeah, like I mean, that? exactly, right? I mean, I've got like superhero stuff hanging up on the walls, and yeah, like like you said, action figures and everything, like comic books in the corner. Like I literally have a spinner rack in my bedroom. <laughs> um, you still have that? What's that? 
You still have that? Because remember you told me when you got it yeah. at your last place. Like, Toby, here's the thing. I've got one in every room of my place. <laughs> Just to put that out there. So You're always ready. That No, yeah, exactly. So I feel like like if a girl's getting past all of that, she's the type of girl that I'm looking for. So a pizza bed? Not gonna dissuade her. Like if she's already made it through the gauntlet that is the rest of the nerddom going on in here, she's probably okay with the pizza bed. I know. I made that same statement to someone not too long in the past. Yeah, yeah. There, there are there are very accepting females. Josh, they really are. You, yeah. At, do you ever read Penny Arcade? Yes. Do you remember? There's only there's only a couple issues, episodes, comments, whatever. Strips. Dailies. Okay, that was the word I was going for. Thank nope, you. No problem. Do you remember when Gabe had the Pac-Man bed? Yes. I have. I made my own Pac-Man sheets like that. I got yellow sheets. Yeah. I got iron-on Pac-Man. Nice. And I made a Pac-Man bed. That's pretty cool. Was this, the is this girl recently? I was? No, this is a couple years okay. ago. But the girl I was seeing at the time didn't care. She accepted it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like if, if a girl is going to care about that, like if she's like I don't super... want my fucking bed. Exactly. Like if she's I super say, against get it, get out, hot bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of. Like if she's super against it, then like we were not gonna work out anyway. Because as we've talked about, I'm a nerdy dude, uh, and I pretty much wear all of those weird nerd things on my sleeve. So I'm not gonna change that. So Toby, I'm too old to be not nerdy. Like that, yeah, it's not gonna happen. So you gotta accept me how I am. So that, I don't know where this was actually supposed to go. Then to ask you about a pizza bed and tell you about my Pac-Man bed, but. Yeah. Everyone should be more accepting of each other. It should. <laughs> more accepting life of lesson. like the things that we like. That's all. That's all, all we really care about. Let's be honest. If you're gonna come in my domicile, <laughs> I, I need to be okay with things. <laughs> are we talking about prison again? <laughs> What's, yeah. Okay. Uh, I okay. So speaking of uh, of pizza bed, I don't have a pizza bed, but I do. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a taco bed. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's a taco. It spins. It rotates. There's there's sexy music playing. Uh, no, I have uh, I have Power Rangers pillows that I use on occasion, like the the cases pillowcases and they're like vintage they're like old like from when the original show first aired i feel like i have vintage super mario slash zelda sheets yeah that was a cartoon too dude i feel like if you what? ever if you ever had a girl over and used them when the girl was over like i feel like like eight-year-old toby would be like high-fiving you for that because <laughs> because 31 year old high toby would high-five me as that's well that's true that's a good point <laughs> Any Toby that was around since the oh man I like girls <laughs> decision of my life would probably enjoy the fact that I have Nintendo sheets pulling a lady over. So any Toby since like earlier today when you finally decided girls are yeah. alright. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Jury's still yeah. out. Jury's still I've out. Heard, <laughs> I've heard some stories today I wasn't a fan of. I thought about <laughs> some things today I wasn't a fan of. <laughs> 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 Josh, speaking of girls. Yes, Toby, speaking of girls. There's a new app out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel like I, I feel like I'm dodging a bullet every time my story starts. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> There's now an app called First Derm that allows you to text a doc a pic of your ahem situation. Wait, what? Start over. Start that from the top. <laughs> I feel like you didn't say words there. No, I, I, I'm i trying to read this fucking stupid article and they talk like assholes. I'm going to do it my own way. Please. There's an app There's a app now called First Derm. First the Derm? Lab, D-E-R-M? Like dermatologist? Derm. Okay. All right. You can use this app to take a picture of your dick and or uh, vagina uh, and or boobs. Uh-huh. And basically, it's the way to not have to go to the doctor, but take pictures of yourself to see if you have an STD and email them over the phone to a doctor. Do you have to pay for it? You take two pictures, one close, one distant, and describe your symptoms. First term promises to respond within 24 hours. The whole deal sets you back 40 bucks, which ain't cheap, but it's probably worthwhile if you're hypochondriac with a busy schedule. I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. Like, if, if I thought that I had something, some issue going on down there, I'd rather spend 40 bucks and take a couple pictures than, like, go in and have someone, like, you know, touch my junk, and it'd be all weird. But, so even though that the copay... Presumably, is cheaper than the app. Yeah, that's a good point. I guess. You'd rather send a, you'd rather send two dick pics to a random person than just go to the doctor. <laughs> well, yeah, is that weird? Because <laughs> for somehow somehow like sending a random dick pic to a, to someone sounds way better to me than getting naked in front of <laughs> someone else. Like, I don't know if that's the anonymity of the internet that doesn't actually exist that makes that okay for me. But yeah, that's true. Uh, but no, 
Because you have to think, if something is actually wrong, like, if something comes back and it's like, oh, man, like, you got some nasty warts down I've there. I've never seen a dick on fire like that before. You should probably go to the doctor. <laughs> Why is it all blue? Um, <laughs> so if something's actually wrong, then I still have to go to a doctor. Like, I'm not going to get a prescription called in, right? From, probably from not. Just out, you're just out 40 I'm bucks. I'm still out 40 bucks and still have to go in. Like, that's... Life lesson. Yeah. Listen. But then if you go to the doctor and say, Doc, listen to this. I took a picture of my dick. I don't know who I sent it to, <laughs> but they said I should probably come see you, so here I am. That's true. It's even more of an awkward conversation. Listen to me. I'm kind of a boner, but I'm not a boner about my boner. <laughs> that's, the, that's the tagline for... <laughs> I'm really tempted to put a hard cut right there just so you sound really fucking stupid. <laughs> Come on, that was a good one. <laughs> nah. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Josh. <laughs> so, Tobias. Yo. 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 Easy on the real name. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Fuck, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Tobinius. <laughs> Easy. Q. I'll fuck. Internet. I'll write you right out. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Josh, during episode... I'm sorry, issue zero, to go with the words you like. Please, jeez, come on. Be professional. We decided. Uh-huh. I decided and told you, so that was a we. Royal <laughs> we. Every day is a reason to celebrate, Josh. I don't agree, but go on. And last week, I forgot to give people the reasons for the week to be happy. You're right. There was nothing to celebrate last week. I know, and I feel like that's a real downer. It is. I feel like people missed out on great life things by me not telling them ahead of time. Hey, this you can party. You can have a nice day and celebrate today. I felt like communally the internet was sadder because we didn't do it. You know what? I think so too, Josh. Yeah, so we should we should fix that. Josh, that's why. Yes. I you. have constructed a list of exciting days and holidays for the next week for everyone to be excited for. The return! The grand return of the segment. And hopefully I'll remember to get it every week now. <laughs> I wouldn't hold my breath, people. <laughs> I'll probably forget again next week, but you never know. Because you know what? That's something to celebrate when Toby remembers this segment. This is like a double a double whammy. It is. Yep. Boom, boom. Both barrels. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like in prison. <laughs> Josh, July 3rd. Uh-huh. Two different great days that you should be celebrating. Well, it's one day. It's all July 3rd, to be fair. Two different great celebration moments for that day. Okay, perfect. Number one, compliment your mirror day. Wait, is that like a roundabout way to be like, tell yourself you're doing all right? I don't know if you just, I don't know if you're supposed to tell yourself that you look good. I, like, I think it oh is. man. Or if you're supposed to say like, mirror, I'm glad I can see myself because of you. Thank you. Mirror, you reflect so well. Mir, you show me how fucked up I look today. I want to punch you right in my face. <laughs> Mir, I might be in prison, but you're a really good one-way mirror. So <laughs> you do your job really well. I could probably break you and shank somebody. I can't see any cops behind you, even though I know they're there. They must not turn that light on. Speaking of cops, July 3rd, Disobedience Day! Is now are they talking like civil disobedience? Like you can disobey however you want to. <laughs> Listen, I will disobey all day long that day. I feel like I do that anyway. So that's well, like that's just like living life day over here. Oh man, that's that's living life day. That's Toby day. Toby, I'm gonna, I, I don't think like not busting your own table at Subway counts. Well, you know, people get paid to do that for me. <laughs> you you have people for that. I have people for that. They're called the Subway employees. It's yeah. so like, sad. And if I don't spill out my drink, Josh gets pissed off at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's just true, in general. So, disobedience day. So, I think I'm going to jaywalk that day. That's how I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to drive through a couple red lights Whoa. and not stop at stop signs. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Toby won't be making the show next week because he'll probably be dead. Eh, or someone else. I might be in jail. I Dead or in jail. Dead or in jail. That's what we're hoping for. That's what my mom worries about every day. When she calls me on the answer, she probably assumes I'm either dead or in jail. Does your mom think you're like a criminal? Like you're you joined the Bloods or something? Like my mom has no idea. What, what nonsense I do. are you gonna get into? It's gonna put you dead or in jail. I don't know. I don't either. Then alcohol. I, sh- I should call your mother. <laughs> call my mom. Tell her not to worry. Say say hi. Yeah, call her for me when you're calling your mom too. Okay. So that's one last thing I have to worry about every week. That's I will. I'll do that. Josh, July fourth. I don't. I have no idea what's happening on July fourth. Sidewalk egg frying day. No. 
No. I don't care about the... No. See, I don't care about the real holiday. <laughs> sidewalk egg frying. That's why I dodged that one. Apparently, it's like National Fried Egg on the Sidewalk Day. You can obviously do this while you're at your 4th of July party. If you're a U.S. citizen. Toby, if our, not, it's just normal July 4th. Our, Josh, Toby, our, go on. <laughs> damn it. Our podcast is so broad-reaching. So, it's, that listen, it's international. It is. So the July, 4th of July is just literally the 4th of July for some people. So they don't, they're don't. not celebrating our Independence Day. They're celebrating Egg Frying Day. I need to make sure this is happy for everybody. But they, Family friendly. But th- those people can celebrate Independence Day, the movie. Uh, and they, they can because because that movie was an Earth celebration because we it fought was. the aliens. It was even though it would have been July fifth on some other people's days at that time. Whoa, you're wrinkling my brain, Josh. For whatever reason, the initial promo poster for that movie, uh-huh. I think because I saw it on like July second, third, or fourth when it first came out. For whatever reason, the promo poster to me made me think the movie was only for those three days. Like, and like I told someone for those three days. Yeah. Like, I mean, they're not that, like, limited engagement is that far-fetched. Yeah. But I was, like, eh, 10, 11, 12. And I told somebody, maybe at school or, like, friends in the neighborhood. And they all made me feel like a stupid asshole. Like a stupid asshole. Because they all made fun of me and told me I was dumb. And there's no way that was possible. Well, it was pretty dumb. I mean, listen, I don't, well, don't want to defend those people that I don't know that yelled at you when you were, like, 12. But, come on, you were kind of being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> but I just didn't understand. Words are hard for me sometimes. That's true. And, all right. To be fair, to to listen, I will play devil's advocate here. It is kind of weird that they put Independence Day on a poster, and if you're 12, you might think that means only Independence Day. Or it might have just said like July 2nd through 4th, because those are the dates that the movie took place in. I doubt there was ever a poster that gave you the timeline for the movie you haven't seen yet. That makes zero sense. <laughs> like 127 hours. Touche. Like like 28 days later. Like 28 weeks later. Fine, fine, you win, okay? <laughs> tell me, like I'm 40 just year old virgin? Tell me, like I'm 40 just... year old virgin? No, that doesn't count. That one doesn't like 40 count. days and 40 nights? There you go, that one counts. Uh, tell me, I'm just happy that our forefathers were able to fight and die for our right to fry an egg on the pavement. Damn right. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. Anyone can do it. Josh, July 5th, Workaholics Day. It like... falls on a Saturday this year, so that's not really. Eh. Well, that wasn't planned very well. <laughs> Why isn't that one of those like Thanksgiving holidays where it's like the third Friday of the eighth month on the solstice if you're wearing a beard? Like, why isn't one of those? I don't know. That one's not fun. That was just the best thing that was going on. Workaholics, day, right? is that like the show? Is it the day for the, the television show? No, I guess you're supposed to be working or something. That's I dumb. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going to be working that. Saturday. No. I'm going to be like just laying outside doing absolutely nothing how if about, all possible how about we turn that into lazy ass holiday? Yeah, we do Lazy Aholics Day, <laughs> July 5th, Saturday, be there. <laughs> or be square. <laughs> Josh, July 6th, build a scarecrow day. I thought scarecrows were, like, formed, like, naturally. Is that wrong? A scarecrow is made out of straw and clothes are put on it. Yeah, but, like... but It's the- also a Batman villain that you might know a little bit better, but again, it, he wasn't formed naturally. I mean, he was, he was born. Tell what me- do you think a scarecrow is? <laughs> Because now I'm concerned. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, but, like, I mean, so, like, you, you, you form straw into a person shape and then put clothes on it. Yeah. So that, so now that since it's Scarecrow Day, I'm going to ponder you something that really always bothers me. Okay. So I think Scarecrows are the dumbest fucking thing ever. Well, that's mean. Okay. They, they, well, they, you, they have a very specific purpose. But I don't think they do, and this is why. Okay. There are tests or studies... Where crows are smart enough to differentiate, like, five different sized hooks to hook, like, if there's, like, five, a small stick, you know, five different sized sticks. Yeah. They can use the small stick to grab the second size one, to grab the third size one, and, like, differentiate the sizes to grab a treat out of the longest one. That's pretty impressive. I don't even, I don't even know if I could do that. Like, there's, there's studies that show that, like, crows and ravens are fucking genius birds. I'm pretty sure they're smart enough to realize this thing that doesn't move ever is not going to do anything to me. Well, that just tells me we have to step up our scarecrow game. Like we need to need to have some like life model animatronic decoy ones shit. Yeah, that are like nah, 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 and like fucking scary noises and shit the yeah. whole time. I need like C-3PO wearing human skin walking around out there, being like, "Do not come into the garden." Like, and he just he scares them all away. That that's a way better idea than a fucking non 
inanimate Scarecrow. Thank you. It's also a little strange that Scarecrow Day is so late into the pl- harvest season, the planting season. Like, I mean, is it later? Or is it early? Well, is, I mean, isn't it already time for like crops to be out? I don't know. I'm some of them. Yeah. I think corn's later. I feel like corn's like October. Yeah, but but corn does corn need a scarecrow? Maybe I don't know what corn scarecrow is. Corn is taller than a scarecrow. Yeah, that's we had a big ass. You got twenty five foot scarecrow. <laughs> just a just a shadow giant scarecrow. <laughs> perfect. That'll scare anything. That'll scare me maybe. But not if it doesn't move. Mm, I'm smarter yeah, no. than a crow, Toby. Yeah, I don't know if you are. Me neither. Listen, I said that. I'm not confident in, in that. Josh, July seventh is both Chocolate Day and National Strawberry Sunday Day. Neither thing I like. Chocolate I do not care about that and day. Strawberry Sunday. But it's, two, it's literally two. It's listed as two separate days. It is Chocolate Day, and it is National Strawberry Sunday Day. But but chocolate is involved in a strawberry Sunday, right? Mm, not if it's just like strawberry syrup and strawberries on top of the ice cream. What kind of a monster gets a strawberry Sunday without chocolate on it? Like I don't know. Dis- what kind of monster eats fucking ice cream? You don't eat ice cream? No. How do you not eat ice cream? I don't like ice cream. I don't eat birthday cake. My parents get me a pizza for my birthday now instead of a birthday cake. Do you like anything sweet? Like no, that's really weird. How? Why? I mean, ladies. You... I like sweet ladies. <laughs> sweet, <laughs> sweet action is what you're into. Uh, but I mean, did, did did a birthday cake hurt you when you were little? Like what 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 caused this? I have no idea. But I I like I don't eat I don't really eat candy. I don't eat pies, cakes, sweets. I feel cookies. like you told me you've been on ice cream dates before with girls. That's different. So do you I mean, eat like, them? Or do you just yeah. like sit there and be like, oh, you're eating ice cream and I'm into you. Uh, yeah. Is that what it's I'll like? Eat it with, I'll eat it with them. Like on the same cone? Like you lick and then I lick and then you lick? <laughs> Not even in that cheesy way, even though that would be fine. <laughs> like the one time recently, I mean, this got probably a couple months ago now, I was forced to eat half of the Reese's peanut butter egg for, with somebody. And I was not happy about it. Like I was, I had to, I had to like force it down in the car. You're the and only she, person in the world <laughs> who can eat a Reese's peanut butter egg and not be happy about it. Because everyone else, that's the highlight of their day. That's that's, that's <laughs> as good as it gets. <laughs> that's why I used to buy her those because it was the highlight of the day. Exactly. And I was forced to eat one once because I actually bought a two pack. I think that's what the problem was. I had to eat one because I bought a two pack. So from then on, I'm I'm singles here on out. <laughs> I learned better. <laughs> Take that crow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bitter about this crow shit, Toby. <laughs> I'm going to build a scare Sunday around my house. <laughs> <laughs> this is a no ice cream zone. <laughs> Josh, July 8th, National Video Games Day. Okay. I've, that I, I can get behind that one. That's every day for me, though. I don't need a yeah. special day. That That's pretty much irrelevant to my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, maybe I'll think about it while I'm playing the games I play every day. <laughs> And finally, the ninth, Josh, National Sugar Cookie Day. So this month is fucking like jam packed with food days, or this week. Yeah. Celebrate ice cream and eggs and scarecrows and cookies. Don't eat scarecrows though. Like don't eat scarecrows. That's probably a bad idea. Don't do that. Now, if it's a if it's an ice cream scarecrow, like maybe I don't know. I don't know what you're making it out of. I might eat an ice cream scarecrow just to say I did it. <laughs> yeah, just what, I mean, is that going to impress somebody? Be like, maybe in one time I ate an ice cream scarecrow, and they're like, "What?" Well, you know how like rest- restaurants have those like contests where it's like eat five pounds of bacon. So if they were like, we built an ice cream scarecrow, who's scared of the ice cream man? Ice cream man. I'll try you know a hard S in there. Uh huh. It's hard hard to tell with my list, but you know. <laughs> So it's just a but picture yeah. of you on a restaurant's wall, like biting into like some some like straw, <laughs> just. Just gnawing it down. No, it's out of ice cream. God damn it, Josh! I thought it was. I mean, a scarecrow is made out. No. of... No. Okay, this is made out of ice. It's cream. made. Yes. So it's just a large Focus. ice cream cone. It's. A, I don't know. I, I, you know the logistics of the ice cream cone, scarecrow, well, whatever listen, it is. You seem to know a lot about it. Just a second ago, when you told me what it was made out of. Oh, well, it's fucking ice cream. <laughs> well, you know nothing else about it. <laughs> anyway, I would eat ice cream scarecrow. <laughs> To be by my picture on the wall. With, I give the double thumbs up like the Fonzie. Yeah. I would, that'd be it. Listen, I would do it too, but I wouldn't do it for the fame. I would do it for the love of the game. <laughs> but I don't love ice cream. Yeah, but I mean, I do. That's why. That's the difference between you and me, Toby. That's it. We've nailed it. <laughs> if only you After all cream. these months and years of knowing each other, we finally I'm, nailed listen, this down. Everything about you is starting to fall into place now. I'm starting to get it all. Yeah. Because you're an ice cream hater. 
You're, you, I'm an ice cream apologist, and you're an ice cream hater. Josh, we're here at closing time. Closing time. Turn all of the lights out. Over. Uh, some, and send us and emails some, at cast at geek-pop.com. Home, but you can't keep listening to this podcast. Unless you rewind them, start it over again after this is over. Geek pop time. <laughs> 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 so, Josh, <laughs> yeah, <it's a> week. <laughs> as you know, we've asked for the listeners, the people who have followed us through Thick and Thin, to uh, ask us some questions. We did. Yeah, I'm excited. And we have two this week. Yay. Two people cared enough, loved us enough to be like, I'm going to email these two assholes. And <laughs> and they're our favorites now. So, yeah. screw the rest the two, of you. The two people I'm about to name, you're my favorite. The rest of you, screw you, unless you email us at cast at geek-pop.com. And then you can be on the favorite list. Now, you're about to name these people. I'm going to name first name only. I'm not going to. Okay. But we, we should also say, if they want to be anonymous, that's a, that's, a thi- that's a service that we can provide, if needed. Ne- neither of them said it, so I'm going to assume they don't. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now I'm nervous about it. So <laughs> you two, I apologize ahead of time. If you change your mind later. I can guess. I can. We, I can, we can re-upload the podcast. That's what you get for being early adopters. <laughs> yeah, it's like early access. You paid five bucks, now you learned your lesson. You're gonna lose. This game's your never identity. coming out. Everyone's gonna know you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the first one's long. We try not to fuck it up. Okay. As I read it, you probably will. I probably will. Uh, the first email we have is from Christina. Christina asks or says, "Amazing show, guys." I'm going to say I'm going to miss overanalyze a lot, but I'm excited for you guys in your new series. Before you know it, you guys will be on the Tonight Show or Conan, and then when you guys get there, you can say, We started really popular on YouTube. Our channel was Girls Heart Geeks. That got banned, so we restarted and called it Girls Heart Geeks, too. Which got taken down by Cheryl Sabin, who can't take criticism and deny us of her freedom of speech, and ended <laughs> our careers. She sure did, Josh. She sure did. You know what? I've come to peace with it. Josh, this is all in caps the next line. Okay. I'm going to escalate a little bit more. And if she minded her own fucking business, Josh, could have been here ten years sooner. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, take that, Cheryl Saban. You know what? I'm not okay with it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And here are the quick questions, Josh. Okay. Toby. Or I guess, I don't know if it's both of us. Hey, I'm uh, going to answer it too. Take that, okay. Christina. What up? Do you still talk to Sierra Hand on Twitter? Oh, dear Lord. Uh, no, I don't. I stopped a while ago when I was trying to get something else straightened out in life, Josh. And, and look, you should never have stopped, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Reflecting back, who knows? Love you. <laughs> uh, the next question is for me. I guess you can answer it, too, if you want to. What a, is what's ceiling... up, Christina? What's going on here? <laughs> I, I see who back... favorite is. <laughs> is the ceiling back to normal? Josh, my ceiling is back to normal. There's a ceiling fan up there now. It's going to fall again, then. I rep- The ceiling was repaired the best that I could. And now there's a ceiling fan in there instead. That just means that you pushed it up and then, like, pushed, kept pushing it up until it stayed once. And then you, like, slinked out of the room, right? Exactly. <laughs> and then, lastly, Josh. <laughs> Toby, I know you live in Penn State and that is huge, but do you ever hear about Woodlock Pines? My family goes up there for two weeks in the summer. I'm a freak out if I went to town for food shopping or church and ran into you, so I want to be prepared this year. LOL. Uh, I don't live that close to Penn State. I'm more towards Philly. So, unless you're coming down this way, you would probably never see me. But if anyone sees me for some reason, they're more than welcome to say hi. You should probably pants him and then not say anything. Or grab his face as he falls down and just whisper, they'll never believe you. (laughs) We're going to bring it back around to Josh's best idea ever. (laughs) It's so applicable in so many ways. Christina, I'm upset that I didn't get a single question in that. Um, You can can talk to Sierra Hannah. Yeah, that's the only one, possibly. The, the best part of the Sierra Hannah thing was Josh started t- talking to her on Twitter when I stopped caring. And then got mad that I didn't care. Because the only re- – tell me, it was a competition. The only reason <laughs> that I was talking to her was not because I actually thought anything could ever happen. Because I wanted to make you mad. <laughs> and then she followed me and everything. And nope. That's how it goes. No bueno. No bueno. If I followed you because they're like, oh, you have one follower in common. And then she's like, I'll follow this kid. Oh, so, so now you care again? Tell me, I'll talk to her today. Do it! <laughs> you would think I won't. <laughs> Uh, for those who don't know who Sierra Hanna is, she's the Yellow Power Ranger. The hot one. like the new season. Yeah. I had, I had a big crush on her. <laughs> yeah, you did. I hit on her a lot on Twitter. Sometimes you responded back. We were supposed to get married, if I recall correctly. Because puppies or something, right? Because puppies. As long as I like puppies. You like her puppies. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> and... <laughs> <Check it in. laughs> 
<laughs> and the other question for tonight comes from um, Musa. Uh, so I'm going to say it's not one of our like first language English listeners. So I'm going to do my best to try to get this and not make it embarrassing. For you. No, for the grammar. I'm going to try my best to read this. Okay, bring it on. What does it mean when your female best friend start getting panicked about the effect of your friendship on her relationship with her boyfriend? And how would one deal with sudden panicking? So your female best friend is upset about your friendship and its effect on her and her boyfriend's relationship. I believe so. So that what that tells me, Toby, if we're, if we're going to be serious for a minute, that tells me that she wants the D. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my serious and my joke answer. Like, if she's worried about it, doesn't that mean that she's kind of into you? It, if she's getting worried about it, I would think there is a love interest there. If the boyfriend's getting worried about the, the friendship, he probably sees something or he yeah. knows something. I guess it depends on where it comes from, right? If it, if it's him in her ear being like, why do you have guy friends? Then he's probably just a jerk. You know, he's probably just jealous. He might be jealous. Um, so at that point, you know, like maybe it's not that she has feelings. But if it's coming from her, then maybe it means it has feelings. I guess you have to decide at that point, like, do you, like, because you might be able to make a play here. You might be able to sleep <laughs> in. Uh, but that's probably not the best thing for, one, your friendship, and two, you know, their lives. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I guess you have to back off a little bit, especially if it's coming from her. If it's not just all of her boyfriend, if she's the one saying it and being worried about it, maybe you gotta take a step back a little bit. I don't know. I just I, 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 to figure out where the panic comes from. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't key. know how to deal with the panicking until I know where the panic comes from. And then I feel like we could give a more accurate response. Cause it seems, it seems sudden, right? It's like, seems like sort of out of the blue. So... Yeah. Also, it'd be it'd be interesting to know, like, do you think you could take the boyfriend? Like, what are we talking here? <laughs> like, how big's this dude? If you could throw him around, you just you just alpha male up and you just yeah. stroll through and you just say, "This is my friend." Yeah, I don't care. Not even if you want the girl. Just be like, "Listen, I'm gonna be friends with who I'm gonna be friends with," and then you just yeah, you like knock him down. He like, pushes face in his face in the dirt. He smushes strawberry Sunday day. <laughs> yeah, Sunday in his face. <laughs> You pick his ice cream cone up and just dump it on his head. You're like, she's my friend. <laughs> friend cream. And then you just like smash it. Like the Hulk kind of, but not really. But like a more sensitive version of the Hulk. Yeah. It's ice cream. It's not a fist. <laughs> again, that's a good t-shirt. That's a good t-shirt. <laughs> so if you want to have your questions answered, again, it's cast at geek-pop.com. Just like our website is www.geek-pop.com. Yay. Josh, where else can you find you? I'm sorry, you broke up on that one. You're breaking up on that one. Where else can you find you? You're going to find me at thegorillaposition.com. It's a weekly pro wrestling podcast that I do. And also on Twitter, at GI underscore Josh. You can also find me, tobesplays.com. That's where I play the video games when I get motivated to do it. It's been a little slow recently, but it will come back. Or you can follow me at Twitter at girlsheartgeeks.com. Josh, you can also find this podcast on iTunes itself. You can. You can do that using the search feature. You find us. <laughs> you find us and you subscribe. You hit that yellow button and you subscribe because you want to hear this once a week. You want us to be happy, to make you happy. So you also click on the five stars and say, OMG, these guys, so funny, like them five ever. Click this if you like it four times. If I wanted to give you you know, a suggestion of what to say, it would be something like, I fill in your name here. Really love Toby and Josh. I, if you're a girl, want to have their babies. If you're a guy, want them to have my babies. And you should all listen to their show. Love five stars. My name here. Five stars. All the time. Five ever. Five ever. Well, Josh, I guess this is when we wish everyone a happy uh, 4th of July. Happy if you're in the US. Sidewalk Day coming up. Yeah, ha- happy any day that we talked about earlier in this episode. <laughs> But we'll see everybody next week. I'm Toby. And I'm Josh. Peace. Adios. 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 Adios.